Hi, my name is Scott again. Sorry, I forgot to mention a few things that I did purchase and showed you some of the components when I did my last video. What I was actually talking about, and I'll get to that in a second. On the deep, like I said, there's a basket. This is what goes inside for your chickens and whatnot. So I wanted to show some of the components I didn't show in my last video. Um, and when you deep fry, you fill this thing about half of oil, and then you can drop it in there as well. And it does have a little lip on the side. All you have to do is connect it and let it drain. This is also for the 9-inch that I have. Smaller basket, and it comes with the same thing as the 12-inch. Uh, 12, uh, the 12 inch. The, So, before I forget, I did also purchase, this is a red copper. This has a... Uh, for pasta that you can use have drainers small drains on one side large drains on the other and it gives you the arrows or the little dots tells you what size what I use this when I do my pastas and now this is supposed to be a good thing well to be honest the truth with you doesn't do what my expectations originally was I was hoping this would have been a lot better than way it proceeded um, you can, it does have the, uh, the copper coating on the inside. It does have the aluminum reduction on both sides, so you can flip and think. I have made some desserts, they, and they do come separated, so you can clean them better. And you can tell if you really look, like I said, they're copper coated. This right here happens to be the copper coating. You see it where the paint and the copper dip is not actually connected. This is one of the worst things that come across. I don't recommend it. I tried it. I was really not impressed with it. Doesn't like to play nice either. You have to clean it. Beside that, I paid $19 for it. I tried it out. It wasn't that great. And right now it seems like it wants to play play a little crazy, so let me slowly put it back together. Huh. Thank you. I think I'm like... Sorry, I had to go by flying to get this thing put back together, but that's what it is. Took me a minute, but that's okay. Uh, this I don't really recommend too much. Um, it's it's almost like when we go camping, when we make toast and the, the things for the camp pieces and we stick it in the fire and do it like that. And that's basically, it was a nice nifty thing when I bought it last December. I wanted to try it out. Um, I haven't really used it that much. It says you can do all kinds of stuff, but like I said, I really don't use this. It actually was stored in the storage. As you can tell, I had problems putting it back together because I don't really use it. But, back together. Like I said, I forgot to mention some of the items, and when I did my last video, I did talk about these, so I wanted to more show you. And when I came across these items, I also came across my pot I used for my pastas, and stuff like that. Folks, I still thank you. Thumbs up for the subscribe. Granted, this was a shorter video than the last one. I wish I had everything out when I did, but it was kind of a quick put together uh, before I started getting ready to cook. But, uh... Thank you again for taking the time to watch my video. And I'm still trying to hit for the 1,000 subscribers. I'm at 530 right now. I've got quite a bit left to go. I appreciate the thumbs up. Thank you for the time. And stay tuned.